Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to Norwegian 737 Project. Really short video just to show you guys what I've been doing today and these past few days. Um, yesterday I went down to the shop. I did a whole lot of upgrades to the electron electricity in the back side of the, of the overhead. I connected up the IRS switches. Uh, some, no, actually no, of none of the LEDs. Uh, but I did clean up a little bit of uh, the wiring for the gates in the 220 volt system. I installed a USB hub up there. Uh, yeah, so now I don't have a whole bunch of wires running from the overhead anymore. And that's a good sign. We want to keep it at, to the minimum. Uh, the engine start switches. I connected them yesterday up to the 12 volt system and they are governed through a, a relay card from uh, Flytech Solutions. Works pretty good but I have problem, I'm having problems with the power supply from the uh, computer. You know that's just a computer power unit and I don't think it delivers enough amps to drive it. So the left one uh, it's kind of I it doesn't really want to go all the way back to uh, to, uh, to the off position. I'm going to show you that a little bit uh, later, or later, soon. Uh, the pedestal has been lowered by like two centimeters to meet up with the height of the throttle. Because I know that the throttle has the right height, 48 centimeters from the floor up to the uh, uh, park brake uh, area right there. So I had to lower the pedestal to meet up with the throttle a little bit better. Also, if you look at my radios right now, they're all installed where they're supposed to be. And they also have the Desus replica running all over the system now. I did put in the blind panels, and you see the, the paint is really, really glossy right now. So I need to rub them down with like 1200 grit sandpaper when... Uh, when uh, the paint is dried. But doesn't that look sweet? Yeah, I think it look, looks awesome. So let's see if we can try these uh, engine start switches here for a second. It will hear a few uh, difference to my ProSim sound system, so I hope you enjoy. Let's see. Alright. See if he got ground power. Oh, it is connected, so it should show up there. Well, all right. I guess if we do this. Ground power. There, there it is. Let's fire up the APU. Go. The sign you just start hurt was the, the sound of the recirculation fan. That's why I changed this sound. Sounds a little bit better. All right, so we're waiting for the APU to, uh, to settle in. Let's do isolation valve open. If you bleed on, that's our APU. Let's flip it. All right, we got those. Let's start up the engine because we don't want to keep this video short. Fuck, dude, my screens are in boot up mode. Ah. All right, that pretty much screws up my video. But okay, let's see if we can do this anyway. It takes a while for these screens to come online when uh, when you just flip the power. Let's call that 23%. Okay, the engine this is pulling up. As you can hear. You should see that switch flip. Well, I tried, but I am having a little bit of a difficulty. Uh, 
I don't know, maybe something is stuck in between the solenoid and the... Maybe I'm gonna have to open up the overhead and have a look. So let's call that 23%. Uh, okay. That's our screen. They came back online. 23, 24, fuel flow, low pressure. So 55% and two. We should have the, the flip should no the switch should uh, flip. 47, 49, 50. Let's go and have a look and see what happens. There we go. See? Awesome. That's awesome, guys. Uh, my my phone is uh, don't have a lot of memory left. I need to erase a lot of uh, pictures and videos. So I'm going to keep this video uh, very short and I'll see you guys later. Bye.